Mike Azenko, Red Team, How to Succeed by Thinking Like the Enemy. In the age of rapid technological advances, no organization can afford to overlook the importance of the E-Red Team, a group of experts employed to exploit the weaknesses in a company's strategies and security measures. In Red Team, How to Succeed by Thinking Like the Enemy, author Micah Zenko offers a comprehensive look at how organizations can harness the power of red teams to identify blind spots and make better decisions. This book summary will introduce you to red teaming, its challenges and effectiveness, and how it can be applied to various industries, including homeland security, businesses, and even the CIA. The Power of Red Teams Red teams are essential for uncovering weaknesses in an organization's strategies, but their effectiveness can be hindered by authoritarian leaders and the lack of qualified team members. An excellent red teamer possesses an eye for detail, the ability to think outside the box, and can think like the enemy. To avoid red team assessments becoming intrusive, organizations must ensure they play an appropriate role in day-to-day -day operations. Red Teaming, a tool for military transformation. The U.S. military's traditional attitudes and practices have led to repeated avoidable mistakes. Red Teaming was institutionalized to shake things up, but it has been met with resistance. In recent years, military leaders have failed to make full use of their Red Teams. Red Teams have the potential to be powerful tools in military transformation and security. When most people think of the U.S. military, they often associate it with blind loyalty, absurd rituals, and old-fashioned practices. This outdated image, however, is something the military has been trying to change in recent years. Prior to the 2003 U.S. invasion of Iraq, the operating military leaders were warned repeatedly by both experts and Iraqi expats that the invasion could lead to an insurgency by the Iraqi people. However, these warnings were ignored, and chaos ensued, demonstrating that traditional attitudes were causing the military leaders to make the same avoidable mistakes. To shake things up, red teaming was institutionalized. Red teams are groups of experts whose job is to challenge conventional thinking, brainstorm alternative solutions, and identify weaknesses in plans. Unfortunately, red teaming has been met with resistance in the military, and in recent years, military leaders have failed to make full use of their red teams. For instance, in 2010, the head of the Marine Corps made red teams an integral part of the force, which angered many Marine Corps officials who thought they were doing just fine on their own. In 2011, a red team was deployed to support Marine activity in Afghanistan. However, the Marine colonel leading the operation ignored the red team's findings and analysis. The Red Team found that Afghan farmers would be better off transitioning from heavily taxed opium crops to quinoa crops, but the colonel insisted that wheat crops be grown instead, despite Red Team findings showing that quinoa could be grown far more effectively. Red Teams have the potential to be powerful tools in military transformation and security. However, despite their expert knowledge, their efforts are often ignored, and they become redundant. Military leaders need to learn how to make the most of their red teams and embrace new solutions to avoid making the same avoidable mistakes. The Imperfect Intelligence of CIA The CIA is not just espionage but also a gathering of intellectual individuals who work together to provide intelligence for significant decision-makers. One such intelligence output is the National Intelligence Estimate that gathers data about specific countries or regions and the corresponding trends. However, this data, exclusively accessible to influential policymakers, is not foolproof, as the National Intelligence Estimate had been producing mistaken findings for decades. Examples of such mistakes caused by the CIA's hierarchical structure include the underestimated timing for Soviet nuclear testing and the bombing of the Al-Shifa chemical plant. The bombing had caused a diplomatic crisis as it was based on faulty CIA intelligence that Osama bin Laden was tied to the plant, when in reality, it was not. The CIA acknowledges that the hierarchy tends to overlook accurate advice from less influential intelligence officers, to counter this, an independent red team is required to highlight possible problems. Red teams, 
protecting citizens against terrorists. Red teams play a vital role in assessing security gaps and enhancing public safety against potential terrorist attacks. Through a 1996 operation at Frankfurt's International Airport, red teams exposed alarming vulnerabilities, but their recommendations were ignored. However, when the U.S. Department of Homeland Security employed red teams to assess the vulnerability of planes to shoulder-held missiles, their findings were implemented, leading to a successful plan to eliminate the risks of a potential attack on planes at JFK International Airport. Red teams can provide valuable insight, but their recommendations need to be taken seriously to serve the public effectively. The Importance of Red Teaming Companies often neglect investing in security, which can prove disastrous. In the book, a red team demonstrated how easy it was to rob a car dealership by posing as tech support, accessing the server room and deleting the ID numbers for every car. Hackers infiltrated Target's online system in 2013, stealing credit card numbers for over 40 million customers. To avoid these catastrophes, companies should employ white hat hackers or red teamers who test IT system susceptibility to intruders. Although red teaming has limitations, it offers several benefits to any organization. The real deal about red teams. Red teams provide necessary and valuable advice, but credit for success always goes to the decision makers. With the advent of artificial intelligence, AI, future red teaming will include the use of computer models and programs like Armitage and Cortana, developed by hacker specialist Rafael Much. These developments promise to make red teaming even more effective. Informative and insightful, Micah Zenko's Red Team, How to Succeed by Thinking Like the Enemy, unravels the potential of red teams in identifying vulnerabilities in our systems and offering valuable advice to decision makers. Despite their often overlooked contributions, the role of red teams in enhancing the security and success of organizations is indispensable. As the world continues to evolve, with artificial intelligence gaining prominence, the future of red teaming is set for exciting changes, bringing more innovations and sophisticated tools that will undoubtedly elevate their performance and impact. In a world of uncertainties, red teams serve as our secret weapon in fine-tuning our strategies and ensuring a safer and more secure future.